so the new JavaScript filter which we are looking into it so now we are going to build if the specific segment is exist in the message or not if it's not it should get filtered out if we have the message it should pass so we are going to build a new filter which I already typed over here this is a very simple logic this if logic checks if the message segment AL1 is existing in this particular uh, like the particular message HL7 message which we are trying to follow for example if the message this will check if AL1 segment is there or not in this particular message and it will pass it through the destination on the basis of our requirement so if it is greater than zero is nothing but uh, if it exists so it's if the condition is almost equal this is true and it should pass so now we are going to check if this is working or not and I'll deploy this channel I already saved it so what we'll do we'll copy this message and we don't have AL1 segment so it should get filtered out so the filter is 20 over here it should become 21 and I'll just refresh it perfect so now we are going to add AL1 segment to this particular message which we have and we'll add uh, multiple filters like uh, the fields now we are going to send this message and this should get sent because we have AL1 segment as per the logic and the 15 should become 16 over here we will process this message and refresh perfect so this is very uh, very simple logic as we are learning multiple uh, things in the filters for the JavaScript so each and every uh, logic works different so this is one of the very simple logic you can change it to any other segment as well for example I want to add uh, ZX some segment which I created manually like Z segments which we have right we can even do that I will go ahead and save it deploy the channel and I will go to the TCP what I'll do I'll add another segment known as ZXM and I'll copy this thing so this should get passed even ZXM segment this is not recognizable because this is the Z segment which I created and we'll see whether it works or not it should always uh, be experimental when we are text testing something and we'll see what changes over here and we'll process this it got passed means our new uh, Z segment which we have created has passed so the logic here is like uh, it's not only the HL7 segments which will pass even uh, the new Z segment which will create depending on your requirement they will also pass so feel free to alter this uh, segments on the base of your requirement and uh, use it uh, on the project depending upon which segment uh, should exist and what should be the output thank you